All right, what up? This is Jay Dragon, and we're just working on this shoe today. I like to welcome you to Dragon Den. And what we are sitting right there doing is we're sitting right there getting our stuff together. So basically, I was using the airbrush. I was sitting right there using this big brush, and I was going around finding all my brushes, getting them all together. I wanted to use there was a soft bristle brush, a medium brush, and a hard brush. Ones that I usually use for the sole, but you always get that. You notice um, stuff that I'm using that was um, uh, rejuvenators being shown on there. But I rather use the um, one that spins around that buffs the shoe. We're gonna sit right there and use that. That will get all the um, soap made into the shoes. That way it'll force it down and pull up the dirt later on when you wash the shoes off afterwards. So basically, what I'm doing is basically Hitting it with some soap, getting it ready, preparing it, and having it ready for the wash. So I'm basically coming over with the hard brush and doing the outsoles and stuff on it just to get more dirt off the sides. Then we're sitting right there. We're using the eraser to get as much dirt as I can off the um, rubber as I would like it to. And then we're going to sit right there and put them in the washing machine. So I came up also with my little um, copper brush. And we're going to sit right there and use that. Now, what we're going to do next is basically just throwing it in the washing machine, getting it ready, and doing all that. As you can see, the bottom of the shoe and stuff like that. Now, the bottom of the shoe will be the next thing that I'm going to be worried about on the shoe, but the top is what I wanted to sit right there and talk about. See, the, basically, we're just using the dye, which is rich dye, and... You can get this at Walmart, you can get it online, you can get it anywhere you need to. Usually it helps a lot to be able to walk into the store and grab this stuff and it'll be perfect for you. Now we're going to see if um about cleaning the shoes. But anyway, we're going to sit right there and talk about we had to uh, sit right there and prep everything ready. You know when we sit right there and get these things clean, we're going to have to sit right there and prep them ready. So we're going to use the tape and stuff like that. But I also tried to uh, bleach the uh, shoestrings too by putting them in a the bottle and it didn't work all the way. Now, these little blue things on the side, they got these um, things set up and ready and put them in the shoe. They dry my shoes. They work really good at that. Now, later on when we use the Ritz dye, Ritz dye, what I want to say to do, hit it with thin coats until it gets dark enough you don't have to keep hitting it with a whole lot of coats what you want to do is bring your um air pressure down on your machine which I made the mistake on and had it very very high so when you sit right there and use that one it will be wrong so basically what I did was later on I got my um little handy dandy airbrush which has a battery on it and it does real low air pressure it works really good for that stuff so sometimes I sit right there and grab it and you're probably sitting right there saying wouldn't uh, die mess up your um, airbrush right in fact no not as long as you clean it out right after you get done with it so what I did was hit it with 91% alcohol right as soon as I got done with it or you could just sit right there and have Get one of those cheap ones from Walmarts. I mean, well, not Walmarts. Amazon is what I was trying to say. And you can sit right there and get those uh, real cheap ones from Amazon. There we go. And you can sit right there and use those for um, your uh, dye if you wish to. Because then you can clean. You still have to clean them out. But yet, if you're worried about it messing up your favorite airbrush or your expensive ones, go with that option, I would say. Or you could just use a brush, but the problem is you're putting too much dye into it, and it'll make it easier for it to bleed on your feet, which you don't want. So basically, we're prepping it up with the tape. I wish I would have done a little bit better, because if I didn't use that airbrush the way I did, it would have worked perfectly, and I wouldn't have had to worry about that. So what we're going to sit right there and do is worry about the shoe. Now, the colors and all that made it look Ten times better, and I looked at the before, the after, and 
what I wanted. I realized that I wanted it to be dark. I got the right color, and I sit right there and put it on. That's all I needed. And then we sit right there and then got it done with, sprayed it on there. I tried putting paper down and having it in the way, but still uh, some of the dye seeped through, but it's all good. As you can see, that's forcing out way too much ink. And that's not what I wanted. I wanted it thin coats. So what I would do is let it dry afterwards and then sit right there and redo it again. I mostly like it to dry on its own instead of heating it up with the heat gun to dry it up. That way it can't do it and it works a lot better this way. And then if you're using lower pressure, it wouldn't push under the tape as easy. But later on, I'm using uh, Angelus... Um, stain resistor and water repellent what you do is you spray this on there all over and then you let it dry you do this three maybe four times all depending then you let it dry once you do that it works perfectly at but i didn't show it on here but this is what i use when it comes to this and it works very well so i'm probably just sit right there and shoot some uh music on here for y'all if y'all like Subscribe and all that stuff, but I got another video coming at the end of this finishing this up and I would appreciate y'all for watching. Thank y'all Searching for greatness in a sea of the dying and shameless uh, A sea of the aimless, I don't want to be one of the nameless I'm awake up with the mindset that one day I'm gonna make it And I don't think I'll be fine if I don't break my limitations Don't try to stop me, I exist to write my own story I'll make a decision if I want some peace or if I want the glory yeah. Don't want a life that is complacent or possibly boring I just want a life that is worth every day exploring I My whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me my whole life I just wanted to be somebody to be Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I just wanna be great Yeah, I just wanna be great Appreciate all that is vacant It's just for the taking If you make up your mind you can take it I'm never complacent I would work in a mansion or basement, yeah There's no replacement for persistence It's a patience, yeah In this life, I wanna be soaring To feel sun inside when it's pouring And I'll fight till anxiety is foreign I'm so sick of my mind's extortion my whole life I just wanted someone who would notice me My whole life I... Alright, what up? This is Jay Dragon. I'm coming back to you talking about the shoe and what I have left to do. Um, I hit this with some uh, Angelus water and stain resistor. What you do is you hit it like a couple of times I hit it four but that's usually works for me um basically you hit this part where you did the um, dye at this is what's gonna sit right there and um, make sure that the dye is um, not bleeding through on the other side or anything like that you also want to sit right there and some people want to wash it out I know I got some right there but that's fine I could sit right there and take some uh, paint and put some, uh, let me see, I could put Too Soft or I could put um, GAC 900 in it and just get that back to white. It'll get it close, but it won't get it perfect. If you're wanting to get your shoes close to 90% back to looking brand new, this is the way to do it. Just hit it up with some uh, 
match up the die to the color and this was the right match it brought it up to the right blue that I wanted for it and it did a pretty good job but like I said you put this on it this will keep the water from coming on top of your shoes or anything like that love the stuff you can use uh, any other stuff but this is the one that um I started out with so yes now I'm gonna get into the um room I got a little bit of blue from the dye and I didn't think it would stay on the white like it has you can probably barely see it on there but it is there oh show look but you can see it there the gloss sits right there and takes it away so I've got a remedy I have used on Air Force ones and it does work so I'm gonna use this on another video to help out with the rubber because this flexes and it's made like uh, rubber too it won't get hard and crack too much as long as you ain't pushing up on the other side from what I could tell so far they work for very good pretty good very good really good and we're gonna sit right there and on the next video I'm just gonna tell you about the next video of this we're gonna sit right there and do the midsole paint it all white we might keep the um, black lining tape over it with the tape have it like that be straight there is supposed to be some more spots right right in there that got hit it but I think if I do this it should make it look even closer maybe even 95 percent now the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna take the bottom off and we're gonna have to re-glue it because in some spots it does this so we're gonna glue that up next time and that's it for that part and this is before and this is what it looked like before yes looked like it should have been in a trash sheet but then I got it to look like this but we're gonna work on this some more and later on we're gonna turn this into this I appreciate y'all for watching Thank y'all.